Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about JavaScript, this keyword. So without further delay, let's jump right in. So you must have heard about the this keyword several times. So in JavaScript, the this keyword basically refers to an object which is executing the current piece of code. Well, in simple terms, this keyword basically just references the object that is executing the current function. Now, if the function that is being referenced is a regular function, then the this keyword references the global object. All right, I'm sure it must be a little tricky at the moment, but please hold on. And if the function that is being referenced is a method in an object, then the this keyword references the object itself. So to help you understand the concept better and to clarify all your doubts, let's look at a simple demo. So here in VS Code, I've created a file called this.html. All right, you can give it a name of your choice. Now here, let me first define a variable and let's call the variable say value and let's set it to say 50 all right now let's go ahead and create a simple function so let me say function my function all right and within this let me define the value for value let me set the value for the variable value as 100 okay And now let me just alert it, all right? So let me say alert value, okay, plus value. And then let me have another alert message, which is going to display this dot value. So let me just say this value. And instead of just saying value, I say this dot value. All right, now after this, let's go ahead and call the function, my function. So let me just save this and execute it. So here it says value equals 100. And then when you see this dot value, it says 50. So now here you can come back to the code and see. Now when I just say value, it takes the value 100, all right, which is taken locally. But when I say this dot value, since it is a normal function, it references to the global variable, which is here, this value. I hope this makes sense to you now. Now moving on, let's look at the behavior of the this keyword within an object method. So let me create an object here. Uh, but before that, let me just comment this out. Let's say script. And now let's create an object. So let's say const. And then I give the name of my object as random. And within this, let me say name and Let's call it John. And then I create a method called info. Okay. And within this, I display a console message that says, Hi, my name is. And now I make use of the this keyword. I say this dot name. All right. And now let me just go ahead and call this method. So I say random dot info all right so let's save this and execute it so let me check my console and there you go it says hi my name is john so if you clearly observe here when we say this dot name since it is being used within a method that is defined inside an object it references to this property here all right unlike this case where it referenced to the global variable that was mentioned outside so i hope this helped you understand the difference between the two 
Now let's look at another simple example. So now let me just change the value of name here to say tutorial. And now let's define another property which is basically an array. So let me just call the property video within which I have an array, let's say JavaScript. With another value, say this. And then let's say keyword. And in my info method, I'm going to just display these video tags. So let me just say this. Okay, let me just delete this first. And let's say this dot video. Now, since it's an array, we can make use of for each. And now for each in turn takes a callback function. And then I say, I'm going to call it a tag, the parameter that's being passed, within which I just console log it and say tag. All right. So let me save it and then execute this. Now, here you can see that the values in the video property are displayed that is, JavaScript, this, and keyword. Now let's suppose that you want to display the name along with every string here, right? So naturally you would go ahead and just say this dot name, right? It makes perfect sense. So let me just save and execute this. Now if you see just the values of the property video are displayed here. Now the main reason for this is if you closely observe, that this function here is mentioned within the callback function, right? So when it is referencing, it is referencing to the global object, which is unclear, which is undefined in this case. So to overcome this, what we can do is that the for each method takes in two properties. One is the function, the other one is the object. So here we just pass this, all right? So what happens is, it's going to reference the current object that is random. So let me save this and then execute it. And there you go. You can see that tutorial, that is the name, has been displayed. All right, I hope you understood the concept of the this keyword. It could be a little tricky, but as you work on it, you'll get the hang of it. So with that, we come to the end of this session on JavaScript, this keyword. If you have any doubts or queries, let us know in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. We'll be back with more videos soon, so watch out for them. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.